Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to talk about physical and chemical reactions. In particular, we're going to focus on chemical reactions. That is our TEK for 8.5E. Here, what your Cornell notes look like. Remember, it's your job to get all of this filled in. Um, please pay particular attention to some of you are not filling in stuff that's found on the left. So make sure all that stuff gets filled in. Alrighty, so our first question. So this is question number one that you see off to the side is what is a physical change? Well, this is kind of review for you guys. So you should remember this stuff. And so on the right, it says that a physical change alters the form of a substance, but does not change it to another substance. So let's look at this example. On this example, which you should write down in your notes, you can write making orange juice. My bad, guys. You need to write making orange juice. Okay. If I squeeze the juice from the orange, it's still an orange. I have not changed the atoms. It has not gone through a chemical reaction like we practiced with equations last week. Another physical change could be turning ice to water. A lot of people sometimes think that that's chemical. It's not. Ice is just frozen water. Water is liquid water. Both of them still have a formula of H2O. So that's another common example you need to remember. Alrighty. Question number two is what is a chemical reaction or pretty much talking about chemical changes. So it says that when a substance undergoes a chemical change, it is changed into different substances with different properties. Okay. So if you remember when we did the video of me talking about baking the cake. The cake that I talked about, I said that the reactants was on your left. I said that that was your ingredients. That was mixing things together. Then you were going to yield your product. And there it is, your beautifully baked cake. I did not draw this picture this time. I would love to take credit for it, but I thought my cake was pretty awesome. So make sure you write down your baking cake example. All right, next we have the six signs of a chemical reaction. So we're going to talk about these six indicators quite a bit. And so these are things that you're just going to have to memorize. Okay, next to number one, you need to write a color change. And right next to that, I need you to write the word unexpected unexpected color change okay so it's kind of like if you mix together two clear liquids and it turns blue think about um, when I did the water change experiment in front of you that would be an unexpected color change because you didn't know what was going on you saw me pour what looked like a blue liquid and turn it from pink and purple and green so those are unexpected color changes. The second indicator or sign of a chemical reaction is going to be the formation of a precipitate. Now, a precipitate is a solid. Okay. Now remember, we want to focus on eighth grade words. So the eighth grade word is precipitate, not like it sounds like precipitation, but it's precipitate and it means solid. So it's kind of like if I pour two liquids together and then they solidify. All right. So if you look here, down here in the bottom of this test tube, that is a precipitate. It is a solid. All right. Number three is going to be bubbles gas or fizzing okay so if you look at these examples here I've got bubbles going some kind of fizzing going after these two things are combined that's another example of a chemical reaction all right the next thing is going to be a temperature change sometimes the temperature change is expected but sometimes it's unexpected so if I pour together uh, 
baking soda and vinegar there is a temperature change that I'm really not expecting it actually drops the temperature all right the fifth one is going to be an odor or smell okay if it gives off some type of odor you know that a change has gone through so like you have these rotten bananas here this delicious looking baked bread okay those are odors that are given off that indicate a change and your last example is going to be a release of light so if you look here you've got fireworks and this shows you the breakdown of a glow stick so if you didn't know that inside you've got this small piece of glass it says it has a hydrogen peroxide solution and then the outside has a little fluorescent dye in it okay once you break it so like you break the plastic part here once you break it um, you've got a release of light and so there is your chemical reaction for that and ladies and gentlemen that's pretty much it make sure that you read the board if you're in class for your next assignment and if you're not in class make sure you're ready for class ta-ta